Hey guys. Good morning. I guess it's uh cold outside. I would say it was colder yesterday morning. Um but I just wanted to pop in and say that uh chickening in the winter it ain't no joke. For real. Like frozen water all the way through everything. Even my bunnies had frozen water this morning. Um, so I had to whip out the old dog bowl because trying to unfreeze one of my water, water things for the chickens, my, my brain is mush PS this morning. It's, it really does suck. I've had three hours of sleep, I think total. Um, anyway, uh, broke one of my waters trying to break the ice out of it. So, um, my other two are completely frozen. They were inside the coops and they froze. So that gives you an idea of how cold it got last night. So needless to say, I'm very, very happy that Tango, one of my chickens that's molting that has no, I was gonna say hair, but no feathers on her, um, has roommates because she probably would have died. Um, so yeah, I have literally like, I'll show you. Can, it's, it's if y'all can see. Inside my coop here, hold on. I'll turn on my light. Inside my coop here, there's literally poop stuck and frozen to the corners of my coop back here. And so I'm gonna have to get in here with a, my little handy dandy like, I don't know, it's a freaking shop dustpan, but I call it my poop shovel. <laughs> I'm going to have to chip away at those bad boys in the corner. Um, I've been wanting to dry out the coops because it's been so cold and so much rain that the chickens have been tracking in wet. And it's been a little while since I cleaned them. The tricky one that's going to be cleaning today is going to be the smaller coop because everybody seems to be hiding out in there today. Um, I'm going to show you around. I've made a trail around the coops so at least the girls can get out and pick around. Underneath the coops are really dried in. Uh, the only reason I haven't like completely weatherized the, the pen here, <sighs> sorry, I'm like out of breath, is because um, we are building, well, we are building, we are creating and building a new structure for the ducks, but Due to family circumstance, we've been put on hold for that for a moment because, yeah, it's been it's been rough at the hospital with Jeff's dad. So, um, needless to say, I'm at home while most of the family is there because I have to take care of all of this stuff, um, frozen water and cleaning out chicken coops and. Um, I'm actually right now filling the tractor up with shavings, that, old shavings, so that I can go put them in the compost pile. So, oh yeah, I don't know if I ever told you guys I have a compost pile. Um, eventually I'm going to make a compost box, but as per usual, we're kind of on hold for that because um, of you know certain circumstances. Uh, but. We do have compost going. We're trying to make this as eco-friendly as possible. Um, yeah, even the animals, like I've had lots of people reach out and say the chickens could have a light during the winter and continue to lay eggs. Well, guess what? That message was their natural clock that hap like happens to be, I wouldn't want people messing with my natural clock. So I think, well, yesterday I got like, I think I got four eggs yesterday, which is pretty good considering the weather <laughs> um, and the sunlight lack that we've had. So anyway, I wanted to show you guys what my process is when I clean out my coops. So as you could see, I have already dunged out the, uh, the big coop here. Okay, so there's, like I said, there's some poop I gotta chip away at the back corner. But then we have this bad boy. Well, good morning, Sunny. Good morning, Goldie and Fury. These are my uh, 
my brave birds coming out in the snow. Like the snow where we have raked up all of the hay that we put down for, you know, warmth has been snowed upon and raked into piles. So they really only just have a small trail to go around and they come to the, I'll show you where the border is of the pen. But okay, so this is my full bucket. Yes, I need to get a bigger bucket, but this is what I had. So this is my full bucket of shavings that's going to go right out here. Oh, mercy. It's hard to do this with a phone in your hand. Oh, good morning, Steven Tyler. I'm actually surprised he's out of the pet or coop. Okay, it's gonna get noisy because I have the tractor running. This is what I do with my shavings. And that goes down. That goes down to the compost pile. Um, I don't know if we're gonna take it down there today. I may let the sun come out because my compost pile is actually clear in the heck back there. Clear back by those trees. So we, we hid it away. Well, hi girls. You decided to come out in the snow. Yeah, I know, I'm complaining about it too, I'm sorry. I don't like the snow either. But guess what? Uh-oh, they're bullying Steven Tyler in there. Guess what though, girls? Too bad, it's gonna get warm here soon. And I pray that it will get warm enough that the snow melts. Look at my little chicken tracks. Look at the chicken tracks, Goldie. You made me chicken tracks. Oh, stop complaining. Stop complaining. Hi, Fury. Don't you peck at my phone. <laughs> You're so funny. There's a close-up of Fury. What are you doing this morning? Don't peck at my phone. <laughs> and don't peck at my finger. Although they're cold, I probably wouldn't feel it. Don't peck at it. <laughs> okay, anyway. So yeah, frozen water. Uh, chickens seem to be doing warm. I've checked their feet to see if there's any signs of cold feet or frostbite. Um, I think we're in the clear for now. Uh, I got, I get kind of paranoid because Mango, the chicken that died by the mouth of my dog, um, she got frostbite last year with her previous owners and lost a toe. So now I'm like, paranoid that paranoid parent that always checks their feet when it's cold and this is nothing compared to what we could get in the coming months so I do get a little paranoid about my chickens feet and I do get paranoid about if there's any wet shavings they're gonna die <laughs> which I know is like exaggerating a little bit because they can keep themselves pretty warm but I'm that paranoid parent so yes my husband has his hands full because he allowed me to have all of these animals. And I'm that worrier that gets up in the middle of the night and thinks, oh my gosh, there's a nor'easter. I, I gotta go sleep with the chickens to make sure they stay warm with a blanket and a teddy bear and nighttime bed stories. <laughs> all right, bed. Anyway, yeah, my brain's mush. So whatever you guys wanna, wanna comprehend that as. So, um, Yes, it's early. I'm surprised. Actually, there's a lot of you watching. I don't even know what time it is. I, like, my watch is turned around on my wrist. Like, I have these little teeny wrists. My watch doesn't even fit. 7 o'clock in the morning. And all of you are watching. <laughs> yep. You can put comedy show right here. Oh, I do that every time. I actually have a knot on the top of my head from where I bump my head on these doors. Every time I clean up. Um, I told you all I was delirious. Three hours of sleep is not enough. But I guess that's what makes a good comedy live feed. But I just wanted to pop in and tell you what my morning consists of. I've got a husky over there in the freaking dog run. I don't know what she's got, but she's licking it. Kogua! Watch this. Hold on. Kogua! I don't know if you can see her. She's that little thing right out. Bing, right there. Kokomo, what are you eating? Oh, you know what it is? 
So we, we, we feed them half wet food, half dry food because they're spoiled. No need for it, but they, they like it, so why not give it to them? Um, but <laughs> she stole the can off the counter when I fed her last night. And she was too quick, so I just let her take it. She's out here licking it. I don't know what's in it. Probably just snow. <laughs> my chicken's pecking at my feet. <sighs> Cher, no. I know my my boot is not food. She's talking to me. Like, anyway, <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed because <laughs> I'm so like tired that I don't really care what I look like. <laughs> I'm sitting out here talking to my chickens. I look like a crazy chicken lady. And that's saying, well, I have always been a crazy something. But now I'm a crazy chicken lady. I've been a crazy husky lady. I've got hair in my mouth. Ugh. Crazy bunny lady now, I guess. Because I, pfft. oh, by the way, three more bunnies. Three more bunnies are coming. We got the final word on them. So I gotta go pick them up as soon as I can. I told him probably a couple weekends. Uh, just due to family family things going on. Um, don't eat. I just dropped my glove. I guess you guys aren't that interested. You're only interested when it's on my hand. Fury, you are interested in me completely t this morning. What is it with you? What is it with you? But, I don't know. I probably should get back to cleaning coops. But I like talking to myself. Because I guess you guys are there watching. But I like to myself because it gives me a friend. <laughs> I don't know. Fury. Hi, girls. I guess chicken chicken faces are pretty cute to look at in the morning. Fury. Here's Sunny. Where's Steven Tyler? Oh my gosh. He's right next to me. Steven Tyler. Okay, so I gotta tell you my favorite part about the news clip really quick and then I'll let you guys go because I know you don't want to sit here and watch me be retarded and oh I'm sorry that's a bad word be I don't know crazy this morning and talk to my chickens this is what I do every morning by the way usually not this hyper but uh I was gonna tell you oh my favorite thing about the clip so when she was I guess when she was filming me feed the chickens a little bit because I was getting them to come out to to me while she was here and it was hard because it was snowing. But Steven Tyler crowed and I'm like, oh, there's Steven Tyler. That was my favorite part. Now everybody knows I have a rooster named Steven Tyler, which is comical in itself. And the fact that he looks like Steven Tyler or kind of looks like Steven Tyler is just a bonus. <laughs> okay, anyway, enough with my antics this morning. I got to get back to cleaning coops because I have a lot to do today. Next is the bunny cages. This has got to be cleaned out and rehayed because my bunnies were cold too. Well, they probably were okay, but their water was frozen. So that gives me an indication of how freaking cold. Ow! You are like ingesting my whole finger. Can you stop doing that? What are you doing? I'm sorry. All right, everybody have a great, I think it's, what day is it? Thursday? I know I do that all the time, but I really don't know what day it is. I promise I'll get on track here coming soon. Um, but anyway, oh, Chalker's like inside pecking at everything. What are you doing? Okay, say goodbye, chickens. Say goodbye, Fury. No, say goodbye here. Here. There you go. Hi. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Can you Can you talk? No, don't peck my phone, please. Ah, ah, that's my finger. Okay, she likes close-ups and is really interested in my phone. Anyway... Good good morning, and have a great day, guys. I will talk to you, I don't know, maybe talk to you later, or maybe not. You'd probably be glad if I didn't, <laughs> but have a great day.